Hi everyone, this is John. I don't know if I've said it, but I live in Orange County, California, and I don't know what comes to mind when you think of Orange County, be it the beach, uh, Disneyland, traffic, but I wanted to show you a cool place. Uh, a little known area nearby Orange County, or within Orange County, is a Redwood Grove. Redwood Grove. Did I say that correctly? Redwood Grove. Yeah, so yes, a Redwood Grove. Say that three times fast. With all that, a little known secret in Orange County is there a grove of redwood trees. And it's also just in a, next to a regional park. You don't have to go super far, a super exotic place to find something cool, which is sort of a treat. Uh, so I wanted to show you. Also, in the last couple of days, we've had a little fog, which has also started to lift as I've started this video. So there goes that. But hopefully it comes back. But I wanted to show you some redwood trees, so let's have some fun. Alright, so I made it to the Redwood Grove. I have to say that slower, I'll, my tongue gets tied. Um, I was reading a sign nearby that says this, all these trees were planted in the 70s, early 70s, so they're all about 50 years old, so it's pretty cool to think. The sun's starting to go down, so I'm, I've d done a little scouting, and I found this one tree right now that I th look, think looks pretty cool. There's these top branches that look like mammoth tusks or something like that. And I could show you. There's these top branches that run me of a mammoth. So I thought I'd start with here. I'm using a 24 millimeter lens prime uh, with my 6D Mark II. Um, I bought this camera upgrading from the original 6D. And at first it didn't feel like an exciting upgrade because the specs weren't all that spectacular. I really like this flip screen where you can you don't have to hide underneath to focus or so you can be at different angles so I'm shooting with that got the camera set to f9 half a third of a second so give that a go <laughs> Something in a, I alluded to in another video was learning to try different things in the same scene. So, for example, on my 24 millimeter, I'm thinking to try a 50 millimeter because it would just frame things different. And sometimes I'll come and think I like what I got with just the one idea or one shot. Then I'll go home and wish I had done something different. And since I have the opportunity, why not take, take the time to do that? So I'm going to try my 50 millimeter. Seeing me change lenses, you might ask why I don't just use a zoom lens. And again, I like to shoot primes because I know zooms are more convenient. You just have one lens or maybe two lenses and you change focal lengths. Not changing the changing the lens, but what I've noticed in comparing zooms to prime lenses is that 50 millimeters is really good at doing 50 millimeter, where a zoom lens it's a compromise, convenience over quality. While there's some obviously that are good quality, I still think sometimes a hundred dollar 50 millimeter is still better than a thousand dollar 24 to 70 that can do 50, but it can do 50 okay. So instead of a jack of all trades, I want a, a master of something. And while there's better 50 millimeters out there, of course, for $100, this still is pretty good, where it's still pretty sharp, colors are good. So I'm at F11, about half a second exposure. <laughs> One 
one aspect of photographing trees I find difficult is they're actually fairly chaotic. When you're here in person, it's like, wow, they're majestic. They're grand, they're huge. When you're trying to fit it into a, a little box or the frame of your photo, it's be challenging to find a good composition because there, there's a lot of lines everywhere with the branches. A lot of contrast with the colors and the light in the sky. So I'm looking for something more simple. And just ahead, there's some trunks going down. And I want to, as I'm on a path, I see them as kind of creating a path leading to the trees. Like this is an inviting place. That's the feeling I want to convey because that's what I'm feeling now. So my photography is trying to convey my feelings sometimes, or I try to convey the feeling I think the place has. And when it's still like this, there's not much sound other than me. It's an inviting place. So for this next shot, I found this tree that's framed by others and it creates that, or to me it creates that feeling of welcome. And combining it with the sound of nothing as people are walking by, kids are walking by whacking bushes. Um, still has a serene sort of feeling that to me is inviting. And so to me it's this tree I want to go sit under or sit, in a, sit with. So I framed it with my 300 millimeter to give it a isolated sort of feeling or solitary so, sort of feeling. Should probably use a manual focus because I've relied on the auto sometimes and I miss the focus and when I have the time to take it manually might as well put on a timer and <laughs> You know, with photographing these trees from far away, of course you can see the texture of the wood, but up close you see, I see a lot of shapes and twists, like there's te a lot more texture. One thing I'm noticing is from far away, the trees have the obvious texture of wood, the bark. But when you get up close, I'm starting to notice other textures where it's a lot more jagged or twisting, or you see new growth. And I want to show that detail and being up close, I have my 90 millimeter tilt shift. I'm not using it for its tilt shift purposes right now, but it's a really sharp blend. So I want to use it for that. And the sun's just coming out. So it's giving it this like rich light. <laughs> Sometimes when you're out in nature, it's good to just put the camera down and enjoy where you're at and feel it. Sometimes things are fuzzy. Well, I think I'm going to head out now. I hope this inspires you to get out a little more and see just what's available around you. Sometimes you don't have to go very far to find something pretty or majestic as someone rides by on a horse. So uh, feel free to comment or leave any questions down below. Feel free to subscribe. This is John signing out. See you next time. Bye.